CGC1295. What is CGC1295? It is a synthetic analog of growth hormone releasing hormone. And it is named after the Canadian biotech company Conchukem. The major limitations for the manufacturing of a synthetic analog for growth hormone releasing hormone was its really short half-life. It was about seven minutes. So Sermorelin was manufactured to in increase the half-life and they were successful in increasing it up to 30 minutes. It was further modified by adding the drug affinity complex and the half-life was increased to about eight days. So it was a really great accomplishment that they were able to improve the half-life from seven minutes to eight days. This is a chemical structure of CGC1295 and this is the active component, the active growth hormone releasing hormone component. And this is a reactive chemical which is responsible for the increase in half-life. And this is a lysine linker which connects these two components. This is an interesting study that I came across. Um, it shows that the CGC1295 causes prolonged stimulation of growth hormone and insulin-like growth factor 1. It was a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial. And the plasma growth hormone concentration was increased to 2 to 10 fold for 6 days and plasma insulin-like growth factor 1 concentration was increased by 1.5 to 3 fold for 9 to 13 days. CGC1295 is often seen in combination with ipamorelin and ipamorelin increases the specificity of CGC1295. By increasing specificity, what I mean is it increases a growth hormone secretion, but it doesn't increase appetite or cortisol levels, prolactin, acetylcholine, aldosterone levels, etc. They are mixed in one is to one proportion. And in this combination, the ipamorelin acts as a short-term trigger, while CGC1295 acts as a long-term trigger for a steady release of growth hormone. There are a lot of benefits for CGC1295. It improves uh, growth hormone deficiency. Both growth hormone and growth hormone release ha hormone have potential neuroprotective, neuromodulatory, and neuroregenerative properties. So this can be improved as well. It improves sleep and memory retention. It boosts energy and immune function and has potential anti-aging properties. Dosage for one two, uh, CGC1295 is 1 to 2 milligram weekly um, via subcutaneous injection and the dosage may vary according to individuals. The most common side effect is injection site reaction and other uh, side effects are flu symptoms, headaches, nausea, drowsiness, etc. The important thing uh, that we have to consider is that all the side effects are minor. There aren't any severe side effects. Now, uh, in regard to future research, human studies are necessary to explore how CGC1295 behaves in human body and within different cell groups. It is because um, many theorized benefits of CGC1295 are based on animal studies. And so further studies in humans are necessary. These are my references. That's all.